so this is my structure and uh, as you can see uh, I have uh, this subsystem so I've created uh, one for the column one for the rafter uh, purlins uh, bracings uh, uh, both vertical and horizontal etc so <clears throat> as you can see I saved a couple of images model views and then uh, we open the uh, model here <clears throat> on the pilot you can see that I saved all these images as well for example I show you the uh, displacement only for the beam only for the column and this I will uh, uh, insert all in my report as well forces on column uh, and on beams as well what's uh, actually uh, we have in this case when we uh, go to the report an important thing is that you uh, don't select any element if not the report will be only to the element we have chosen so now as you can see uh, I have deselect all the element and uh, and then we can go to the report so we open generate a report now the report is already created and I will go through any of these uh, elements so the first one is uh, the cover sheet so the cover sheet you can find it uh, in uh, home project titles and uh, here there are all the details that I've insert and uh, the design office so I just set my uh, my details you can then in um, document you have the table of contents I add uh, different chapters the first one is uh, uh, the structure so I add model geometry cross section and steel materials you can find them in table in the first uh, area uh, after this the second part is about the result so here in the geometrical data I have added uh, all the information for the structure I'm going to add also a description of uh, rigid point support and as I clicked on the structure it will insert it directly there if not I can uh, I can move it as you can see with the arrow and I can create uh, them in a different chapter or uh, insert them uh, is quite easy and uh, to move them you can drag them or you can move the arrows um, here in the load cases I've added some load cases, the description of the load cases, so the families. And here, as you can see, <clears throat> in the window case, uh, I turn off some of the information, and I leave and I left uh, only the main information. Then all the summatory and uh, all the stuff are all long table that uh, we are not really interesting yet because we can find out also later. Then we go to the result area and uh, in which um, as you can see I have uh, uh, chosen some of the main tables so the sum of uh, the reaction of, on the support that are important uh, to check my structure and the maximum work ratio then I've created some um, other chapter uh, for a detailed report so for every subsystem I have created a different uh, uh, chapter in this case just to show you just uh, for example I have created uh, one subsystem for column and one for thereafter then obviously you can uh, add uh, one for each kind of element uh, in which uh, with different kind of post processing uh, um, picture about the column uh, the first chapter is uh, on the displacement so as you can see I went uh, to the table of content and uh, to results and I set the uh, global um, uh, global envelopes by elements and then I select um, uh, endpoints and middle uh, element value so we don't have uh, 10 15 values for every meshed uh, point, but uh, I've set it only for 
uh, this middle value. Then, as you can see, I've been uh, looking at the global system, so it's referred to this axis. And uh, um, in the advanced option, I selected only the column and only the um, combination that I'm interested in. The same for forces and moment, so if I go to the properties of uh, this global envelope, in this case, I've been working with the uh, local axis as um, when uh, we create uh, the images and we select the, and the forces uh, I have selected in the results uh, toolbar, uh, they are all referred in the local axis. And then I added uh, the work ratio. So I add the work ratio only for the column in the same table we had before, but in this case there's a filter only for column. And then uh, I did the same for the rafters. So um, I export it in, uh, for example, in docx. You can export in all this different kind of file export. And then I save it. When you save it, and then uh, when you imported it, uh, it's going to, to take all the um, table and uh, all the images. Obviously, every time you need to update the images so um, because it's a different job. But in this case, as you have uh, all forces and uh, moment uh, sel um, selected and it's really clear which kind of images you need to, uh, to create and to add. But all the table uh, are the same. So then it's really easy to uh, create the new report. So as you can see, uh, in my structural report, I add the first images. This is what I got from, uh, uh, from uh, my cover sheet. And, um, and this is uh, there's the index. And then we go through all the content. So in the structure area, uh, there is the model geometry, as you can see there is the self-weight, so you can see the weight of the structure. And uh, then we go through the load cases and uh, the different uh, values for the, uh, for the global forces. Then we go through the structure properties, as you can see there, there are all the table, you can move it as well, so once they are in a, a docx, you can obviously uh, move them, copy them, etc. Then I went to the, through the um, load uh, characteristic and um, uh, for example in this table there are, there are all the uh, forces as well but there's not right, really detailed uh, and, uh, table with all the forces of the wind you can easily find out from uh, the properties I've set and then all the combination that are important. As a result, as you can see here, there is the sum of uh, the um, uh, reaction of the support, so I can check my uh, the weight of the structure uh, and uh, the forces of the combination, and then the maximum work ratio. Uh, we then go through the detail report in the column. We can see all the displacement, but as you can see, there's not for each point of the mesh but only the start, finish and middle point. Obviously you can add some of this point, but you can easily check that the, uh, the displacement in this case are the same of the image reported then. Then we go through the forces and moments <coughs> table. Um, as you can see, there's only the main results and you can check uh, the result with the, uh, with the images. As you can see, there is uh, the, um, uh, the maximum value, uh, the legend, uh, you can change the legend as well. And uh, we, uh, um, we went through all the result. And with the strength max work ratio, with the image attached. So then you can also uh, simplified it, uh, for example, if it's an assessment uh, uh, more than 100% or less than 100%, etc. We go then to the report of the rafters. The displacement is referred to the global axis. 
while forces and moment are referred to the uh, local axis. So that's also why I um, set global axis for displacement and local axis for the forces. And then uh, the maximum work ratio, also the stability one in this case, I added. So this is how to create a detailed report with uh, all the main information.